Hi everybody, this is Ben coming to you with your tip of the week. We often hear about how important posture is during the golf swing, but what we don't often hear about is how to develop good posture and how to maintain good posture during that golf swing. We've all heard about how important posture is for everyday life. That simply means that our hips are lined up over our ankles, our shoulder blades are up and back, chest up and out, and head lined up over the rest of our body. That's not only important for functionality, but also for aesthetics. In the golf swing, it's a little bit different. We're trying to focus on hitting something on the ground in front of us. And we have to use a different mechanism to help us find good posture, not only during the setup of the swing, but also throughout the swing. Yes, the golf swing does require some athleticism to be able to swing the club and hit a golf ball far out on the golf course. But what makes a golfer like Rory McIlroy and John Daly seem so similar in the way they set up and swing? It's balance. Balance is something that we all possess and have the ability to train very easily. And if we have a firm understanding of how balance affects not only our posture during our setup, but also during the actual swing, we can swing the club more effectively more of the time. So I'm using my video editing app OnForm to give you an idea of exactly how I find good posture through balance, not only in my setup, but throughout my swing. Once I've got myself set up, I try to find a balance point in my feet that I would say is roughly in the center of my feet, right up my laces of my shoes. That's equidistant or equal weight between toes and heels. Once I've found that point, I should be able to draw a vertical line through my laces, through my knees, and directly behind my arms. That will allow me to have equal weight on either side of that line during setup. If I do that properly, I will be able to have a nice flat back, which is my postural point. If I have found that point and I maintain good balance during the golf swing, I should be able to keep equal weight on either side of that line, both front and back, throughout the swing, and finish in good balance. So I hope that tip helps you better understand how balance not only affects our setup, but also our golf swing. And if you need more tips on how to enhance your balance, not only in everyday life, but also during your golf swing, please don't hesitate to ask. We're here to help. Until next time.